Yajnam has not been done properly. A person who read this line properly knows that Atma Anubhava is continuous process. And not only Atma is ever experienced within the body, mind complex, as I am, I am Aham Iti, I am, I am in this way, it is continuously experienced. This is one explanation of Atma. What is the next? Anuvartamanam. This ever experienced Atma is Anuvartamanam, is continuously present. Anuvarta means to continuously present, to inhere, to permeate, to inform. Anuvartamanam, this Atma is continuously present when, in and through, Vyavrtasu avasthasu. In and through all the discontinuous avasthas. Atma is ever experienced. Atma is continuously present in and through. In and through what? Vyavrtasu avasthasu. Vyavrtam means discontinuous. Anuvartam means continuous <coughs> and avastha means avastha. I will translate. So, Atma is continuously present in and through the discontinuous avastha. Discontinuous avastha means waking dream deflate. The word avastha, if you take the life as a whole, the word avastha means the stages of life also. Balya avastha, hmm, yeah, what you call yuva avastha, uh, then uh, what you call uh, vridha avastha, all those avasthas also. You can take it that way. When you take the life as a whole, in that context, the word avastha means the stages of life, and they are classified as four in our shastas Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanupastha. Sanyasa. There are four avasthas or stages of life if you take life as a whole. And what are those avasthas? Balyam, Kaumaram, Yavvanam, Vartakyam. That also four. Balyam, Balya avastha, Kaumara avastha, Yavvana avastha, Vartakya avastha. Balyam is childhood stage. Kaumara means boyhood state and Yavvanam means youth state and Vartakya means old state. Thus four avasthas are there, Balyadishyaju, Balyadishu, Avasthasu. In and through the four discontinuous stages in life, like childhood, etc., Atma is continuously present. How? I am a child, I am a boy, I am a youth, I am old. When child wa word is used, boy word is not there. When I say boy, youth word is not there. When I say old, youth, boy is not there. When I say, ah, okay. Child, boy, youth, old, there are anuvartam or vyavartam. Anuvartam or vyavartam means these four, they are vyavartam means mutually exclusive, discontinuous stages of life. Isn't it? One is there, other is not there. But even though these stages are mutually exclusive, even though these stages are discontinuous, what is continuous in all of them? I am, I am, I am. That I am refers to the Atma. So, Vedanta is so simple, I tell you. We make it so complicated. We think it is dry and all that. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> the whole story of myself. And not only these four stages of life, if you take a particular day of your life, instead of taking the whole life, if you take a sample, a particular day in the context of a day, avastas are called states of, states of experience. And they are classified into three. If you take life, four stages. If you take a day, three states. Four stages are called avastas. Three states are also called avastas. One is taking a segment of life called day. Then another taking the whole life. And what are the three states of experience? Shankaracharya Jagradadishu Avastasu Balyadishu Avastasu We translated stages of life and when we say Jagradadishu Avastasu we should translate as states of experience and there also I am waker, I am dreamer, I am sleeper Wakerhood state, dreamhood state and sleeperhoods, they are Vyavrtam, Anuvrtam. They are Vyavrtam which means they are mutually exclusive and they are discontinuous states. But in and through the discontinuous state what is common? I am, I am. That I am and that continuous I am experience is Atma Anubhava. So, Balyadishwapi Jagradadishutatha Sarvasvavastaswapi. And even if you want to talk about any other avastas also, like what? Poverty as avastha. Richness is an avastha, healthy condition is an avastha, sick condition is also an avastha, or brahmachari, grastha, vanapastha, sannyasa. In addition to this common three or four avasthas, therefore in astrology it is called desha, guru desha, chukra desha. And one desha he will suffer, in one desha he will be happy. They are called avasthas in Sanskrit. The word desha means avasthas. And these avasthas are variable. I am is the invariable. This variable, this invariable I am is the atma which is ever experienced. Now this I am experienced all the time by me. But when I, when I introduce myself to others, when I introduce myself to others, I do not introduce merely as I am. Even though I am is my real nature, Atma. When I introduce myself to others, I do not merely introduce as I am, but I always add an attribute relevant to the avasthas, I always add an attribute relevant, relevant to the avasthas. What is that? I am young. That young attribute is added to I am and another time I say I am middle-aged, I am old, a relevant attribute is added. I am waker, I am dreamer, another type of attribute. I am angry, I am sympathetic. Previously angry I was, now I am sympathetic. Thus angry, sympathetic, waker, dreamer, young, old, all these are attributed to this I, I am. Now the question is, are the added attribute continuous or discontinuous? Are the added attribute continuous or discontinuous? If you analyze, the attributes added to the I are also mutually exclusive and discontinuous. Because when angry attribute was there, sympathetic attribute was not there. <laughs> 
when the sympathy attribute has come anger attribute has gone when young attribute was there old attribute was not there when old is there certainly young is not there similarly weaker attribute cannot coexist with dreamer if that is possible you can sleep and listen to the class simultaneously you can listen sleeping but unfortunately the moment you become sleeper you are no more a waker therefore waker dreamer sleeper attributes boy youth old age attributes angry sympathetic etc attributes also are vyavrt tasu mutually cancels <clears throat> and therefore that is not the anuvrta i am mean continuous so atma is defined as continuous i am and you cannot include the discontinuous attribute to the continuous i am so if you exclude all the discontinuous attribute mutually exclusive attribute the attribute less i am is atma so you should say i am then several attributes would come i am the mother of so and mother of so and so i am the father of so and so i am sick i am healthy i am rich i am miserable i am angry you should say i am and whatever attribute rise in your mind you should very deliberately exclude those attributes and that attribute less i am is called atma hmm. very clear if you include the attribute then that i am inclusive of the attribute is ahankara you include the attribute what you get is ahankara exclude the attribute that continuous attribute less i am is atma that i refer to the conscious consciousness principle am refer to the existence principle consciousness is continuous existence is continuous that continuous chit and sat for chit i for sat means am the continuous chit sat i am without including the anger jealousy the frustration the anxiety why you do not include because they are floating and march marching emotion and this exclusion of attributes and seeing the ever experience continuous i am as atma is called atmajnanam seeing the attribute less i am as the atma is called atmajnanam therefore atmajnanam is not a new experience atmajnanam is not a new experience but it is a new perception of your ever experienced i excluding the attributes it is not a new experience but it is a new perception of whom by ever experienced i am the same thing is there what i have done now the attributes which i had included earlier have been excluded now therefore only a reclassification of available experiences i have never worked on a new experience i have only done a reclassification of available experiences i am is an available experience anger is a available experience 
but i am is an available experience when after talking for all this time you are silent i am an externally available experience anger jealousy etc are also available experience through vedantic learning i have never worked for a new experience the teacher has trained me only in a reclassification and what is the reclassification before anger i had classified along with i am and after vedanta what i am doing not a new experience after vedanta also i am continuous after vedanta also emotions can come in the mind because mind is meant for emotions what has taken place is instead of emotion joining i am joining i am as an attribute emotions are separated from i am it is a new classification based new perception there is no question of new experience because atma is also ever experienced emotions are also ever experience we have only segregated mm. your man is coming no not yet come and this atma what atma attribute separated atma which is separate from attribute prakati karoti is taught by the guru prakati karoti this is taught by guru guru does not give a new experience guru does not ask the disciple work for a new experience guru teaches the student to reshuffle reclassify the available experience you say i am but do not include angry as an attribute that's okay mame that's why in the nirvana shakam dame veshragau dame lo bhavo ho madho naiva me naiva matsarya bhava na dharmo na chartho न कामो न मोक्ष चिदानंदूप शिवोहम शिवोहम चिदानंदूप शिवोहम शिवोहम i am the empirical ahankara exclude the attribute i am absolute atma and therefore the difference between ahankara and atma is only in my reclassified perception that is why we say atmajnanam is a cognitive change a perspective change with regard to myself just as a girl is there before marriage that girl is seen in a particular perspective and after marriage one hour after marriage the girls weight is the same height is the same and what is changed the perspective has changed 
it is not an external change it is an internal change the same way in atma jnanam there is a perspective change with regard to i am once you are married what is the change nothing has changed outside but there is a mental change i am wife he is my husband i am a married person not is not that ring that makes the difference <laughs> there is a change mentally <clears throat> so also atma jnanam there is a perspective change with god to i am and what is that change earlier when i say when i was saying i am it was along with anger along with desire along with ahankara i included them now i have learned to exclude them and the moment i learned to exclude them i can happily claim i am brahman inclusive of attributes as ahankara i cannot claim i am brahman exclusive of attributes as aham i can claim i am brahman i have not become brahman but i have claimed the brahman that i was and i am and i ever will be and it is this new perspective which is the teaching of the guru therefore shankaracharya says swatmanam this attributeless i this reclassified i the guru prakati karoti means teacher reveals teaches instruct whom bhajatam to the seekers who are willing for the new look of i who are willing for the new look i there is no change in the i in the look or perspective there is a new perspective that prakati karoti bhajatam means shishyanam the seekers and how does he reveal two method the verbal and non verbal communication so all the body gestures are non verbal communication even when i talk to you my hand is doing so many gestures all gestures are called non verbal communication now it is becoming a very big science they call it as body language and how to study body language it is a very di- big discussion they say success in communication to a great extent requires the knowledge of body language anyway the chinamurti communicates this teaching to the student both through a non verbal communication and verbal that non verbal communication is called bhadraya mudraya bhadraha means auspicious mudra means hand gestures through the auspicious hand gesture called chin mudra we have talked about the chin mudra in the beginning <laughs> mahunam vyakya prakatita para brahma tattvam yuvanam that time i have explained to you karra kalita chinmutra mananda roopam swatma ramam mudita vadanam dakshina murti mide we saw in the mahunam vyakya dhyana shloka and there i pointed out that in chinmutra the teacher only reclassify the fingers is it not before also you see five fingers <laughs> now also you see how many fingers you see the same five fingers no new experience i am giving i am only giving you the same five finger experience in a reclassified form what is the reclassification earlier the fingers were straight it is not 
What is that? India symbol, Congress symbol is there. <laughs> it's not that. This is Vedanta class, okay. Now you see the five fingers, this finger, I am, I am finger has joined the attribute. Ego. This is I. It's called Tarjani. Tarjani means accusing finger. <laughs> That's why in all the pujas, this finger is left out. If you want to take flower, you have to take flower like this. Not like this. <laughs> like this. Ego. Ego is separated. Hmm. Stura Sharira attribute, Sukshma Sharira attribute, Karana Sharira attributes. That is the three. Stola, Sushma, Karana, Sharira. The three is together. And now ego is joined with all the three. <laughs> now what I am saying is, I am experiencing attributes. You are experiencing only, I say, separate the attributes from I am. Attributes are not included in the I am because they belong to Anatma. So this ego separated from the three Sharidas. Then once it is separated, what happened? It has no choice. Sula Sukshma Karana Shariram, not the Shariri. And once I separate the I am, then it can touch the thumb, which refers to absolute Brahmanhood. There is also this thumb stand for Brahman. That's why thumb is away from all the four. At the same time, even though it is away, it is the strength of the all the four fingers. Without the thumb, Four fingers has no meaning. <laughs> the relative I itself is the absolute I when it is free from attributes. See, that is also this relative I is itself is the absolute I. See. I plus attribute is relative I. Ahankara. I minus attribute, I am the absolute I. So mathematically, it is very good. <laughs> but you try to separate, then you know. That absolute hood, I join the moment, I divorce. Gurudev used to say nicely, this is a Muslim I with three wives. <laughs> three wives and suffering from samsara. Therefore, what should you do? Divorce is the easiest job in Islam. <laughs> Talak, 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 three times, that's all. Talak, three times, you repeat, stula sharira, attribute talak, <laughs> sukma sharira, attribute talak, karana sharira, attribute talak. You are again back to, <laughs> what, bachelorhood. <laughs> Household are free. The free I, I do not say the householders are not free. I am only talking Vedantikali. This is the absolute I. Bhadraya mudraya svatmanam prakati karoti tasmai to that guru who gives me the knowledge of the attributeless I 
who teaches me to have a new perspective without looking for a new experience that teacher i prostrate tasmai guru murtaye sri dakshina murtaye who is none other than dakshina murti idam namaha my prostrations so that is the seventh verse now we'll go to the eighth verse विश्वम पश्यति कार्यकारणतया सुस्वामी संबंधतया शिष्याचार्यतया तथैव पितृपुत्राध्यात्मना भेदत स्वप्ने जागृति वायेश पुरुष माया परिभ्रामी तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नम श्रीदक्षिणाूर्त सो वेन ई हेव द न्यू पर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ ई एम एस चित सत् or consciousness existence i which is ever experienced and continuous i as long as such a vision i have i am the absolute atma which is ever free but the moment i lose sight of this attributeless i because of the powerful maya or avidya there arises a confusion or error and because of that confusion i include the attributes into i am the attributeless pollution free pure i become the attributed qualified i which means i have become an empirical ahankara this is very beautifully given in rasalila bhagavatam in rasa krida portion very beautifully given when the gopis ran whatever they were doing to bhagwan listening to the beautiful flute played in the banks of yamuna on a full moon night and when they all assembled there <laughs> bhagwan first discouraged them saying that you people go back Why have you come, leaving everything, your duties? So, as a housewife, it is your duty to take care of your household, dharma, taking care of wife, ala husband, children, family. This is your duty. So go back. and it is not safe also for ladies to roam around in the night like this <laughs> and you may not be afraid but your parent your parents your husband your children will be worried to go back so the ladies argued you are asking us to go back for what to do our duties now what do we do why we should do duties so that we get our antakarana shuddhi for what to attain bhagwan isn't it now we have come to bhagwan <laughs> we have attained you why we should go back now to the same kitchen what is the point So Bhagwan thought that okay, now they are ready. Let us do our rasa krida dance. 
So as they were dancing, suddenly a thought came to them that we are the most fortunate ones. Why? Ahankara came, attribute came. <laughs> the moment that Ahankara came, Bhagavan disappeared. That's what it is here. The moment that attribute Ahankara comes, Bhagavan disappears means what? He has not gone anywhere. But he disappears from your vision. The moment I become an empirical ahankara, what happened? That is described here. What happened is I will qualify myself as a waker eye, dreamer eye. I will qualify myself as use the Manduki description to riyam I has fallen down to Vishwa, Taijasa, Pratnya. And once I become the relative empirical I, I cannot avoid relationship with the relevant world. As a waker I, I will be related to the relevant world. Relevant world means Jagrat Prapancha. As a dreamer I, I will be related to the relevant world. What is the relevant world? Sopta Prapancha. The Asanga I have become the Sasanga, I with relationship. So relational, relationless Atma has become relationed, related Ahankara. And what all relationships are possible, a few samples are given, what are they? Karya Karana Sambandha. As a waker I, an individual in Jagrat Prapancha, I look at myself as protect of my past karma. I look at myself as a protect of my past karma. As a man, I say I am Punyavan or Papi. And not only that, I am always worried about my Jatakam horoscope. Guru Perchi, because of the Guru Perchi, what type of I is going to come? We have puja for that also. <clears throat> Every magazine, all the astrologers are busy studying what product is going to come after the next Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> When is it? Whenever it is, that means what? That I look upon myself as a product of the astrology, product of Sanchita Agami Prarabdha, karma product of various planets is called Karya Karana Sambandha. Karma is Karanam, I am the Karyam effect. Gaudabhadacharya call it Hetu Phala Sambandha. And therefore, I have to run to various temples, Shani temple, Rahu temple, Navagraha temple. So that's why every temple has got Navagraha. And they have to go around that Navagraha, do puja. And where Navagraha, Navagraha temple is there, there are a lot of crowd is also there. Somebody suggested me also to have one here. So I said, I am not going to do it. <laughs> this is a Vedantic center. Mm, this itself is too much crowded. But <laughs> <laughs> Generally in our ashrams only one idol will be there. But here we have at least four are there. That's enough. Now they want to add Devi is not there, Swamiji. So I have to bring a Devi. I said, Devi is there, Rathaji is there, that's enough. No, 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 it's not considered. So we should have to bring Durga. Somebody said, we bring Sai Baba also. So Sai Baba makes a lot of money, it seems. So but that's not our intention to make money. <laughs>
<laughs> our intention to provide a peaceful atmosphere. <laughs> the moment you come, you should feel like sitting down and meditating. That is our vision of our Gurudev. That is the vision of uh, all Acharyas, Mahatmas. Temple is a shrine where the moment you enter, you should feel that serenity and sit down quietly and meditate. <coughs> but we don't, in, in any temple you go, you feel like meditating. No. <laughs> Socializing there. And they will also set various pariharams. You know. All these I am so telling you indirectly what I am the product of my destiny. That's what it is. Whereas the absolute I is the product of what? It is the I in which the whole creation Visham Darpana Darshamananda Garitulyam Nijandar Gatam. That absolute I has become a miserable running after astrologer person. He has become called Karya Karana Sambandha. Karya Karanataya means Karya Karana Sambandhena. Vishyam Pashyati Karya Karanataya Saswami Sambandhadaha. Another type of relationship is honor owned. So, Swami, <coughs> I look at the world, a segment of the world, a part of the world, as possessed by me. House is owned, I am the owner. The owner, owner, owned relationship and therefore also miserable. Trying to own something and trying to retain something which I own, which is called Yoga Chema. Again, misery. Then, Shishya Acharya Pita Putraha. Relative Hankara is born. Conversion is called by Maya or Avidya. So that few empirical relationship was enumerated. Karya Karana Sambandha, Shishya Acharya Sambandha, Pitra Putra Sambandha, Pitra Putra Adhyatmana Sambandha, Father Son Adi. Ahankara become a relative I. A role-playing I, a related I, in which avastha sopne jagrati va. Whether it is waking state or dream state, and therefore samsara is inevitable. Of course, we get some interval and relief in sushupti avastha. Wherein we do not worry about the family members and society and other problems. And unfortunately we cannot sleep for long. The sleep is only for a few hours and older we grow, lesser the sleep also. After 3 a.m. sleep is not there. So what to do? So disturb the other sleeping people. Therefore, even sleep is not a permanent solution. Even death is not a permanent solution. Because Punarjanma brings in Punaha Sambandaha and Samsara. And therefore, the Jivatma Purushaha, who is really a Sakshi, that Purushaha Maya Paripramitaha and is confused because of maya. 
and then Shankaracharya says, even this confused jiva is really none other than that Dakshinamurti. <laughs> and therefore, now my prostration is to the confused samsari whose inner essence is nothing but Dakshinamurti. Therefore, he said, Tasmai Sri Guru Murtaye. To that Guru Murti, Dakshinamurti, who has now put on the Vesham of Ahankara, Ishwaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Bheda Vibhagine, Vyomabat De Pyapta Dehaya Dakshinamurti Ramaha. Confused student. The Shinamurti is alone the confused student and not supposed to be confused teacher, but that teacher is also the Shinamurti. <laughs> and of course, the Lord is the Shinamurti, to that the Shinamurti. My Namaskarha. Okay. With that, the eighth verse is also complete. Okay. Let us read the ninth one. Now the verses are simple. Bhuram basya nilo nilambara mahar nadho himam shuppuman ityabhati characharatmagamidam yasyaiva murtyashtakam manyat kinchana vidyate vimrshatam Yasmat parasmat vibho tasmai shri guru murtaye namayidam shri dakshina murtaye With the previous eight words, the actual teaching part of this dakshina murti stotram is over. And that is why this work itself is called the Shinamurti Ashtakam. That means eight verses alone are the teaching part. The last two verses, either Shankaracharya added later or perfect some other author, some other Shankaracharya also added, we do not know. But the actual the Shinamurti Ashtakam is over with the eighth verse. So the last two verses are winding up verses. And in this ninth verse, Shankaracharya described the Shrinamurti as Vishwarupa Ishwaraha. We have seen in other contexts that in our scripture the Lord is presented in three different levels. Initially as yes, Eka Rupa Ishwaraha. The next one is Aneka Rupa Ishwaraha. Then finally Arupa Ishwaraha. Eka Rupa Ishwara, we got the Dhyana Shloga, Chitram, Badadaror, Mule, etc. Urta, Shishya, Guru, Yuva. That Dachanamurti as a personal God. That is called Eka Rupa Ishwara. Eka Rupa means one form. And in the course of the Dachinamurti Ashtagam, we got the description of Dachinamurti as Darguna Brahman, attributeless Brahman. So the Arupa Ishwara, no form. That description we have seen. Thus, personal God Dachinamurti we have seen. The transpersonal Brahman, the Dakshinamurti we have seen, the only one left out is that, what? Dakshinamurti as Vishwarupa Ishwara. Just as Lord Shiva described in Rudram is Vishwarupa Ishwara, Shivaha. Lord Krishna described in the 11th chapter of the Gita is Vishwarupa Ishwara Krishna. Similarly, Dachinamurti described in the ninth verse is Vishwarupa Ishwara Dachinamurti. Facing which direction? Vishwarupa Ishwara, if you say, where is the direction of north and south? 
ವಿಚ್ಯುತಕ್ಷುದ ವಿಶ್ವದ ಮುಖೋ ವಿಶ್ವತೋ ಹಸ್ತೋ ಉತ ವಿಶ್ವದ ಪಾದ ತತ್ಪಾಹುಭ್ಯಾಂ ನಮದಿ ಸಮಪದ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಜಗತ್ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶಿವ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಮಸ್ತು ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಹಾನ್ಯಾಸ ಸೊ ವಿಶ್ವತೋ ಮುಖ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ವರ್ಣನಂ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೈನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ಮೂರ್ತಯ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀನ್ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಂಚಭೂತಾನಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೈ ಎಲಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೈ ಎಲಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಭೂ ಭೂತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಭೌತಿಕ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೈ ಎಲಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಭೌತಿಕ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ In English, Bhūtams are called elements. Bhūtikams are called elementals. For example, the physical body is not any one of the elements, but the physical body is a product of all five elements. Therefore, come under what? Bhūtikam. In fact, all the 14 lokas are one element. but they are mixtures of all five elements these combination products these combination products are called bhautika prapancha and two representatives are taken what are they surya and chandra surya chandra means sun and the moon pancha bhutani and two bhautikam so five elements plus sun and the moon seven put together stand for the inanimate universe achetanas the five bhautika prapancha and the two elements are all achetanams achetanam means inert and then the eighth factor is the chetana jeeva who represent all the animate jeeva jivarashis so seven inert achetanam and one chetanam sentient seven achetanams five elements and two elementals and therefore panchabhutani suryaha chandraha jivaha is put together is the whole cosmos you cannot find anything other than these eight factors what about this mic mic will come under what mic will come under the product bhautika prapancha surya chandra will represent all these things then shankara the modification of five elements is mic also then shankara acharya says this ashtamurti darshana murti is the vishwarupa ishwara and other than this ashtamurti dachanamurti there is nothing else to that dachanamurti my namaskaram this is the essence of uh, the ninth verse now look at the verse the ashtamurtis are enumerated first bhu ambasi bhu bhu min plus ambasi bhu means earth ambasi means water analaha means fire 
alam na vidyate is called analaha. The one who never says enough is called analaha. Anilaha, na nilayam masti. <laughs> no particular place, air never stays in one place, so <laughs> it's called analaha. Ambaram means space. Up to this is five elements, Bhutani. Aharnathaha. Aharnatha means the Lord of the day. Ahaha means day. Natha means Lord. The Lord of the day. Lord of the day is, means what? Surya, sun. Nathaha means the Lord. Who is the Lord of the day? Who is responsible for the day to be the day? Sunrise along alone brings the day. The sunset takes away the day. Therefore, sun alone preside over the day. Therefore, it is Aharnataha, means Suryaha. Then, Himamshu. Hima means cool. Amshuhu means rays. Beams of light. Amshuhu. Himamshu means cool rayed one. And what is that which has got cool rays? Moon. And therefore, Imam Shuhu means Chandraha. And Surya, Chandraha stands for the entire Bhautika Prapancha. So with this seven Achetana factors are over. Now comes the eighth Chetana factor. What is that? Puman. Puman represent all the jivaha. Jiva Rashi is from the minute microorganism to the biggest Brahmaji, all of them. By Puman Jivaha Chetana Iva Iti. In this way, Characharatmakamitam Murtyashtakam. These eightfold factors, Murtyashtakam, or the eightfold facets consist of characharatmakamitam includes both the chara prapancha chara means the moving chetana as well as achara prapancha means non moving achetanam murtyashtakam chetana chetanatmakam murtyashtakam this whole cosmos which is the shariram the very body of Dakshina Murti. It is not one body sitting under a banyan tree. That Dakshina Murti is for worshipping or is an avataraha. But the real Dakshina Murti has the whole Charatharatmakamidam Prapancha. As the very Murti, Murti means very body. And that is why. We name Vishwarupaha. Vishwarupaha in that expression. The word Rupa means Shariram. Ishwara means how to understand Visham Shariram Yasya Saha. Vishwa Shariram Yasya Saha. The Lord whose body is the whole universe. Since the whole universe is the body of the Lord, Wherever I am turning, I am seeing him. Bhupado yasya nabhir viyata sura nila chandra surya ujanetre karna vasa sirotyo mukhama pidahano yasya vaste yamaptihi andastam yasya vishyam Suranara Kagago Bhogi Gandharva Deityayi Visham Chitram Ram Ramya Metam Trakuvanavapusham Vishnu Misham Namami Vishnu Dasadama Dhyana Shloka Now tell me what is the difference between Vishyarupa Shiva, Vishyarupa Vishnu, Vishyarupa Dachinamurti, what is the difference? Since all the three include the entire cosmos, there cannot be any difference at all. That is why 
you will find the description of Vishwarupa is the same for all deities. <laughs> so all the deities are not different, they are the same. Ekarupa description will vary from deity to deity. But Vishwarupa description will not have any variation. And therefore, Murti Ashtakam Yasya. Yasya means Vishwarupa Dakshinamurti. This is the eightfold form of Vishwarupa Dakshinamurti. Not only that, Parasmat Vibho. Anyatat. Kinchana nasti. There is nothing else in the creation other than or away from this Vishwarupa Dakshinamurti. Parasmat Vibho means Vishwarupa Dakshinamurti. So Param means absolutely, Vibhu means all pervading. Parasmat Vibho means other than or different from the Absolute, all-pervading Dakshinamurti. Kinchana na asti. There is nothing. Krishna tells the same in Gita. Matta paradaram na asti. Kinchita asti dananjaya. You take your own body, body part will become the achetana part of the Chinamurti. Therefore, you do not exist away from the Chinamurti. And therefore, you cannot say God and world. That is a dual delusion. So therefore, there is no question of God and world separate. Mistaken God is world. <coughs> <coughs> God playing the fool, playing the part of a fool, is man. <laughs> so that is why Hindus worship everything. It is coming from this higher vision. Not out of foolishness, superstition, please. That is what British injected in our brain. <laughs> whatever that we do in our Hinduism, whatever practice we had, all of them are superstition, unscientific. <laughs> now they are coming out one by one, all scientific, they say. What is world for the deluded person is the Lord for the wise person. What is world for the deluded person is the Lord for the wise person. And therefore he says, Vimrshatam means for the thinking people, for the refined people, for the spiritually educated people, for the wise people. For the wise people, there is no world other than the Chinamurti. Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye, Guru Murtaye, to that the Chinamurti, who happened to my, my Guru also, I offer my Namaskarams. And this verse can be utilized in two ways. For those people who have studied the scriptures and who have understood that there is no world other than the Chinamurti, for them the Vishwarupa is a fact. It has become a fact for them that there is no world other than God. And for those people this verse can be utilized as Nidityasana Shloka. For those, for the wise people, this sloga becomes a reminder. Sarvam Tachinamurti Mayam Jagat. Sarvam Brahma Mayam Jagat. There is nothing other than Brahman.
ब्रह्मवत्त अमृत पुस्ता ब्रह्म पश्चा ब्रह्म दक्षिण दक्षिण दक्षिणता ब्रह्म उत्तरेण अतश ऊर्ध्व प्रसृत ब्रह्म इतम विश्व इतम वरिष्ठ ब्रह्मनिजवृति यत्र यंचिच्चगत्सर्व दृश्यते श्रूयते नारायण सूक्त वट एवर दैट यू सी दैट इज नारायण फॉर दिस फॉर द वाइस पर्सन इट बिकम एंडिध्यासन Sadhana. Whereas for those people who have not studied and understood Vedanta, for them, this very same verse become Vishwarupa Upasana Sloka. It become a sadhana, which is Vishwarupa Upasana. And what is the uniqueness of this sadhana? instead of taking an idol as a symbol of god like saligrama he should learn to take the whole universe as maha saligrama instead of taking chinna saligrama the universe itself taken as maha saligrama or maha saligrama and he should learn to invoke the lord upon the universe so that's the vishwe or jagati ishvara buddhi <coughs> kartavya ishvara bhavana kartavya jagati ishvara buddhi kartavya ishvara bhavana kartavya just as revering revering river ganga as goddess revering earth as prithvi devata prithvi i should imagine because it is not a fact for me until i understand it is a fact i should learn to visualize or imagine like aham brahmas means not a fact i can learn to imagine that i am brahman this is called ahangraha upasana similarly this shloka for the ignorant people become a sadhana and the sadhana prescribed is vishwarupa upasanam thus in both ways this shloka has been utilized and having presented both the upasana sadhanam as well as the dhyasanam now in the 10th verse the whole teaching is completed palashuti i can finish it today or i can keep it for next class <laughs> one more class i can okay we'll keep it for next class last once okay. om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamadachade पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ थैंक यू or oh, today lot of people online huh? <laughs> at least i have two people in front of me thank god so we have only one more class then yeah do you want more yeah thursday is fine but we can't start uh, brahmasutra yet right ah brahmasutra not now <laughs> Let's take Q and A.
You don't have to come Thursday, there is no compulsion. No, no, if you are taking, we will come Sunday. <laughs> okay, we will see. We will see Tuesday, still there is time. Hari Om. <laughs>